Hey, what's going on, Aries? Butch Tarot here. I'm um, going to do your one week read. It is a general read, so it will not resonate with everyone. Uh, it is for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and your Venus. Uh, all roles can be reversed for all you cross watchers. Uh, if you haven't already, like and subscribe, and always feel free to comment down below. So let's get it. Aries. All right, Aries. So the first thing I got is, I do see some new beginnings happening. I feel like, I feel like you you just recently walked away from something um, because we got this new beginning, the rebirth. Um, I feel like you were in a situation where there was a lot of hot and cold, um, back and forth, in and out kind of energy. And I feel like you finally took that, you know, you finally put in the work and made that next step to move past this. Um, you know, I feel like you wanted something from, you you expect something from a situation and, and you weren't getting it. Um, we have the world card. So I do see that, that that came to an end. I feel like this is something recent. Um, I feel like you, you finally realize that, you know, this isn't worth your attention. This isn't worth your effort. Um, like I said, I feel like, you know, we got to that situation, we got to that part of this, of this, where we, we started to regret the, the effort that we had put in all this already. Like I said, I feel like you put a lot of work in, it didn't get anywhere. Uh, it wasn't going anywhere. So like I, like I said, I feel like that, that recently came to an end. Um, and now I feel like not only... You know, not only were you just sick of not getting back what you put in, but I do see there's just something new. You know, I do see new love. So I, I feel like there is something else going on here. I feel like there's something else coming towards you. Um, we have the, the Emperor. So, I mean, some Aries energy there. So I feel like, like I said, with that new beginning, I feel like the new beginning has been, you know, started by this, this newfound love. Um... You know, I feel like your interest has been heading in a different direction. And now it's time to, you know, really see that through. Um, you know, I feel like you're starting to trust your intuition here. And I feel like that's part of the reason why we, we move forward here. Uh, it's time for a fresh start. And I feel like you know that. Like I said, we have some new love here. Again, with the Aries energy. So I, I, I feel like... Basically, what I'm seeing here is in a past relationship, um, you know, it was on and off, hot and cold, you know, with the world cars telling me that came to an end because I feel like you were sick of putting, you, you, you were sick of the only one putting in effort. You know, and I feel like you just didn't want to give to that situation anymore. I feel like you just weren't nurturing that situation. Um, and, and even so far as to say that you were regretting, you know, this going on as, as long as it did. Now, like I said, not only were you getting sick of that situation, but I feel like there's some new energy coming around you and I feel like you want to explore that. Um, you know, putting your focus on something else, uh, on something else, um, putting in the effort where, where there's more gain. Like with Aries, we, we just, you know, we want to be on top. And we expect the person that's with us to put in the effort. 
And like I said, with that other person, you just weren't getting it. Um, but like I said, I see I see new opportunities. That we, like I said, the re, rebirth card, um, the Ace of Cups, new love. I feel like I feel like something something sparked this, and and it's something that just recently happened or is gonna happen. You know, this new spark, uh, new found. You know new found that adventurous side of you is coming out like you see something new and it, it is it, it's it's fresh and it's something that you really want to put effort into to, to make this work like i said with that eight of pentacles i mean i do see you putting in the effort with this and i feel like with this situation you see more gain um you know you see your effort actually being rewarded you see this as something that you know, you can build a foundation with this new person that you're either already interested in or you are going to be interested in. Like I said, there is going to be that new person that's going to spark. Like, I, I truly feel like this is something that's already happened. I feel like you've already met this person and had your interest has already um, peaked. Uh, I do see a lot of happiness coming from this situation. And I, like I said, I do see it as something that you, it is worth your effort. Uh, that past person, they just weren't giving back. You know, you put a lot of work and it only left you with regret. Uh, regretting the time that you had wasted with this person. But with this new person, like I said, I feel like... I feel like I, I see a lot of forward movement with this person. Like, this is definitely someone that you could build a foundation with. Um, the magic's in the air, so I feel like it's... It's going to be something that's going to take you pretty quickly. Um, I do see you moving forward really quickly with this. You know, sometimes when we're in a situation where we're not get, we're not we're not getting back what we put in, and we we deal with that for such a long time. You know, the next the next person that comes along is actually going to get the benefit of that because now you're in a place where you want to move forward quickly. You don't want to waste any any time. You know. Um, baby stepping around you want to move right up uh, uh, you know you want to move right into the situation and, and start putting the effort in like I said I feel like this is something that um, you, you you've you've taken a step back and really focused on this and this is something that it isn't a quick decision you know I feel like you really put a lot of effort into thinking about this and like I said you see this as something that you know, you will get back what you put in. You know, I feel like in the past you weren't listening to your intuition, but I do see that you are starting to listen to your intuition and you're starting to realize that if it doesn't feel right, it probably isn't. If it doesn't feel like the right person, then it's probably not the right person. You know, a lot of people have struggle with that. Some people, you know, have that feeling inside that, and their intuition is telling you this isn't your person, but they go on anyway because it's it's easier um you know sometimes it is easier to to, to take to take that road and, and not really you know put yourself out there but when you put yourself out there that's the maximum you're gonna get the maximum reward there now not only do i see this new person as new love but i feel like it's it's that person you've been waiting for because we have the the gemini energy the lover's card and we have that new, the Ace of Cups, which is new love. Uh, this could be a soulmate connection here. You know, I feel like this is that person. And I'm getting the strong sense that this may be another fire sign because we had some Aries, um, you know, it could be Sagittarius, but as well as we got some Leo. Uh, like I said, I feel like it took a lot of strength for you to, to really make this decision. It wasn't a decision you made lightly, but I feel like after this decision is made, it's going gonna, it's gonna to feel like a weight has lifted off your chest. You know, finding this new person is going to give you real focus. And it's really going to help you find that path that you've been looking for. Um, when we're with the wrong person, it, it, it affects so many parts of our lives. Not only the love life, but it affects like so many different parts of our life. Uh, a lot of people don't realize that. When we're in the wrong relationship, we, we, we're just... We're not clear. When we're in the right relationship, clarity is is everywhere. Uh, we start seeing everything clearly. 
And I feel like this is what we're going to get here. Like I said, I see a lot of happiness. Um, you know, I feel like you're going to be dealing with a, you know, an, another fire sign. So I feel like there's a lot of passion here. Uh, I feel like you guys are on the same page and I feel like that's going to really help this grow. And like I said, with that um, Knight of Swords, I feel like this is going to move really quickly. Um, now I get the sense that you're going to either be dealing with a fire sign or an air sign with fire in the charts. Or a fire sign with air in their charts. So I mean, we're looking at uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Um, but like I said, we we also got some some Gemini here. Um, you know, I, I I feel like this is gonna help your stability as well because I do get a little bit of a Taurus vibe in here as well. Somebody that knows what they want and and, and is really looking to get it. Um, like I said, once you make this move and once you let go of that past person, I feel like clarity is going to be, um, you know, paramount here. I feel like you're gonna you're gonna feel a lot better about the situation. You're gonna feel like that that burden is lifted off you. Um, you know, a lot of people are afraid to take that step, but I I feel like you, I feel like there was a little bit of a you know hesitation, but I feel like when you really trusted your intuition and you took that step back, you really seen where you should be going. And, you know, how you're going to get to where you want to go. So, like I said, I feel like once you do that, you're going to, you're going to, at first it's going to be a little bit of regret, like I said, but I, I, I mean, I feel like you're going to move past that. And then it's going to be like this burden is lifted off you and you're going to feel free. Um, and that's why we got the, you know, the rebirth card, new beginnings here. Um, you know, this is something that you can build with. Like I said, I feel like there's going to be a lot of passion, a lot of magic. Um, you know, you're going to feel a strong pull to this, towards this person and you're going to feel a deep connection. So that's what I have for you. Um, always trust your intuition. You know, even if it doesn't seem like sometimes people don't listen to their intuition because it doesn't seem like it, it's the best road. But just remember that at the end of the day, we can't know what the best road is until we've taken it. And when we're down that road and we look back, we can see where we made the right call. So be good.